Hey there, my amazing truth seekers. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to another episode of Until Royal Secrets. This is your favorite royal critic back here again, and today we've got a story that's making waves on both sides of the Atlantic. Our favorite royal runaway, Prince Harry, might just be regretting every single word that he's wrote in the infamous cash grab memoir of his, and his partner in crime, the one and only Meghan, the Duchess of Deception, Markle. Well, let's just say she might be pairing her exit strategy. So now, guys, let me tell you, my darlings, watching this whole visa drama unfold is like watching the world's slowest train wreck. You just know it's going to end badly, but you can't look away. And now with Donald Trump potentially returning to the White House, Harry might be wishing he'd kept those drug stories to himself. Talk about the chickens here, guys, coming home to roost. You know what's absolutely delicious about this? Harry literally did this to himself. Nobody forced him to write that book. Nobody made him spill all the details about his drug use. But in his desperate attempt to cash in on his royal connections and please his puppeteer wife, he might have just written himself a one-way ticket out of his Montecito mansion. Now, let's break this down, shall we? Our friend Harry, who used to be this kind of respected prince, a soldier, someone who actually did good work, decided to write a tell-all book where he freely admitted to using all sorts of drugs. Now, that's all well and good for book sales, really. And here's the thing. When you apply for a visa... They tend to ask about the sort of thing, lying on a visa application, oh honey, that is a big no-no. The Heritage Foundation, bless them, has been pushing for Harry's visa application details to be made public. And now, we've got Nile Gardner saying they're going to ask the Trump administration to release these records. Can you imagine the panic in Montecito Mansion right now? I bet those organic chicken coops are getting quite a workout. And where's Megan? Oh, this is the best part. Sources say she's been conspicuously quiet about the whole thing. Isn't it interesting how she's nowhere to be seen when her husband might actually need her support? Remember how she used to cling to him at every public appearance? Now the things are getting serious. She's probably already planning her next move. Now let's not forget that Megan is a US citizen. She doesn't need to worry about visas or immigration status. If Harry gets the boot, she can just stay put in her mansion with those mysterious children we rarely see. How convenient. It's almost like she always has an escape route planned, doesn't it, guys? And speaking of Trump, oh my goodness, the plot certainly does thicken. We all remember how he's not exactly the Sussex's biggest fan, right? Remember when he said to Meghan uh, she was nasty about him? And how about when Harry said he would need luck with Meghan. Well, if he gets back into office, which he has, he uh, might just have the power to make Harry's life very uncomfortable. You know what's really ironic? If Harry had just stayed with his family, none of this would be happening. He would be in Britain doing the royal duties, being a beloved uncle to George, Charlotte and Louis, supporting his brother William and precious Catherine. Instead, he's potentially facing deportation because he couldn't resist the urge to spill every single detail. The timing could not be more perfect here, could it? Just when Harry and Meghan's brand is tanking, when their Netflix numbers are disappointing, when Spotify has shown them the door, when Meghan's silly little jam venture is becoming a laughing stock, now the visa scandal might be the final nail in their coffin of relevancy. Let's talk about that appropriate action Trump mentioned. What could that mean? Well, if it turns out that Harry did lie on the visa application, he could potentially face deportation. Can you imagine Prince Harry's son, the King of England, being kicked out of the US? It would be the ultimate humiliation. And let's be honest, it would make for a fantastic television, guys. And where would he go? Back to Britain? After everything he said about his family? After all the bridges that have been burnt? Can you imagine him showing up at William and Catherine's doorstep with his tail between his legs. I mean, the royal family would probably take him back eventually, but they're remarkably forgiving. The really sad part is that it was so unnecessary. Harry had everything, a loving family, a position of respect, the ability to make real change in the world, but then came along Meghan. You know what's really telling the complete silence from the Sussex camp about this? No statements, no leaks, no journalists, no carefully staged paparazzi photos, just showing how happy they are. And in PR terms, silence speaks volumes, doesn't it? Let's think about the potential scenarios here. Best case, Harry gets to stay, but his reputation takes a massive hit. Worst case, he gets deported. Meghan doesn't follow him because, let's face it, she's never going back there. And the whole fairy tale ends in divorce. Either way, it's not looking good for our favorite Royal Rebel, is it? And can we talk about the absolute irony 
of Harry potentially being undone by his own words. The same book that's supposed to make him millions might end up costing him everything. It's like a modern-day Greek tragedy. The prince who flew too close to the Californian sun, only to come crashing down to earth. The contrast with the working roles couldn't be more stark. While Harry's potentially facing deportation, William and Catherine continue their dignified work, while Meghan's sending out jam. Camilla's carrying out meaningful engagements. You know what's really interesting? The timing of the visa investigation, just when Harry and Meghan need some positive PR. When they're trying to rebrand themselves, when they're desperate for any kind of win, the scandal comes along and threatens to destroy everything they've built in America. And let's not forget the money angle. If Harry gets deported, what happens to all their deals? The Netflix contracts, the property, their lifestyle brand. Because let's be honest, without Harry's connections, Meghan's just another failed actress trying to make it in Hollywood. The Heritage Foundation's push for transparency is fascinating. They're not letting this go. And why should they? If any regular person had admitted to drug use after potentially lying on their visa application, they'd be in serious, serious troubles. Trump's warning about appropriate action must be sending shivers down Harry's spine here. And where are all the celebrity friends now? The ones who were so quick to support them when they first arrived in America. The ones who attended their wedding. The ones who were happy to be associated with them. They've all absolutely disappeared. You know what's going to be really interesting here, guys? Watching how Meghan really does handle this. Will she stand by them? Will she follow him back to Britain if deported? Or will she suddenly discover that she needs to find herself and that they're on different paths? Well, time will tell. The really sad part is that Harry used to be so popular in America. Americans absolutely loved him. He was the fun prince, the one who seemed more relaxed, more normal. Now he might be forced to leave the country because he couldn't keep his mouth shut. Talk about fall from grace. And let's talk about the timing. Just when Meghan's trying to launch a lifestyle brand, just when they're trying to rebuild their image after a Spotify disaster, just when they desperately need some positive PR, the visa scandal threatens to overshadow everything. You know what's ironic? Harry left Britain partly because he wanted more privacy. This whole situation really shows the difference between celebrity and royalty. The royal family have survived because they understand dignity. Harry and Meghan wanted to be celebrities, and now they're learning that celebrity status can be very, very fleeting. Indeed, so there you have it, my darling viewers. The Sussex saga continues, and this time it might have real consequences. Will Harry face deportation? Will Meghan stand by her man? Will Trump make good on his warning? Only time will tell. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest royal drama. Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about the scandal. Do you think Harry should be investigated? Should he be getting special treatment? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to share the video with your fellow royal watchers. They won't want to miss this tea, guys. Until next time, keep calm and keep supporting the royals. We will, of course, catch you guys, our loyal followers, in the next video. Have a great time and we'll see you again very, very soon, guys. Goodbye for now.